tragedies. In the early 1990s, the East African country of Somalia was rocked by civil war and subsequent famine. The U.S. sent troops there not to conquer land or steal resources, but purely to save lives. And we did that. We saved about 100,000 Somalis. That, by the way, was 1993, not 1992. I misremembered it. Seems like just yesterday. But Somali-American Congresswoman Ilhan Omar is not grateful for what the U.S. did on behalf of the country she was born in. No, she thinks American troops were the bad guys in that conflict. A couple of years ago, she responded on Twitter to a user who was remembering the 19 American troops killed during the Battle of Mogadishu. She wrote this, quote, In his selective memory, he forgets to also mention the thousands of Somalis killed by American forces that day, exclamation point. Hashtag not today, Satan. Sergeant Major Kyle Lamb fought that day in the Battle of Mogadishu. He's the author of the book, Leadership in the Shadows, and we're happy to have him tonight. Thanks very much uh, for coming on tonight, Thanks Sergeant for Major me. Lamb. When you read Ilhan Omar's remarks about the battle that you fought in, what's your response? Well, normally it's humorous, but at this point it's uh, kind of disturbing because, I mean, first of all, she wasn't there. She'd already left the country. We were there, and uh, I've never heard numbers quite that inflated. I mean, we wished we could have done that much damage, but that's, that didn't happen as far as I know. Well, I guess what's so striking is, and the U.S. has done things I disagree with around the world, but in this case, it seemed like the mission was purely altruistic. We were only there to help. We didn't take Somalia. I mean, did you steal gold or natural resources when you were there? <laughs> no, we didn't do that. We were trying to take out a deed because he was a clan leader that had, uh, the Habegeter clan had kind of taken over the town. They were taking the food, uh, any of the, the aid that we were giving to Somalia. Uh, also weapons and they're running drugs. Cot is a big, uh, yes. big drug over there. And uh, he needed to be eliminated so that we could get peace back in that town. So we were actually there to help some of the, the lesser tribes or the lesser clans, such as her uh, clan, which, you know, obviously they were already gone. But, uh, yeah, we were there to try to do the right thing. And, and, you know, the other thing is we didn't say, hey, let's pick out Somalia as a great place to go hang out. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the president at the time, President Clinton, said this is where we're going, this is what the mission is, and our commander said, roger that, we can do it. And, and we all had signed on the line. That's why we serve. And you can make a difference when you go to those countries. Does it strike you as odd that, and I don't want to pick on Ilhan Omar, but she's a member of Congress, and so her statements get a lot of attention. Here's someone who was brought to the United States at public expense simply because we're a kind country, that accepts a lot of refugees. And rather than being grateful for that, she spent the rest of her life attacking this country. Why? Well, as they would say down here in Tennessee, bless her heart. <laughs> I mean, we, we want her to understand that she's living, she's living large now because of, of her family being able to escape the atrocities of Mogadishu. And yeah, it's, it's very disturbing. We watched our friends get drugged through the streets by the people that she says are her people. And uh, we got to watch that on TV once we'd uh, exfilled from the crash site that I was at and we got back to our hangar. That's what we got to watch. So, yeah, we take it, uh, we take it personal when you, when you attack us like that. Um, once again, it's not surprising to hear that. There's been kind of a long list of things she said that, I don't know if she met them or not, but she, she continues to say them. So, uh, yeah, I feel, I feel bad for her. Yeah, I do, too. What about the families of the Americans who were killed there? I mean, this, what do you think they think of this? I, I haven't talked to any of the families, but they, it doesn't take her saying something to, to remind them of what they deal with every day. Right. Whenever they go to a baseball game and they, they hear the national anthem and they look at the flag, that dad's not there with his kids. Um, yeah. That's a story that not just from Somalia, but all the other conflicts that I've been in, and that I haven't been in. That's the story of the soldiers. So that's what we deal with on a daily basis. And, uh, and really, you know, we just want people to, to, uh, to help us out when we get back, which is we need a mission. We need, you know, guys to get help if they have drug or alcohol issues, which uh, sometimes can be prevalent in the military if, if guys are suffering with uh, injuries that they try to continue to fight with. Uh, so we try to get them the help that we can. That's what we Amen. want to do. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the, it's the soldier story from the last 10,000 years. Kind of the last thing you need is a lecture from people like her. Sergeant Major, thank you very much for coming on tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you again. God bless America.